after the January livestream this past month, we finally hit a big moment in the road towards Alpha 2. And that is the fact that we have now seen a healer, a tank, and two different DPS archetypes for the game. Now setting up for more content down the road as we have been teased of a world boss fight in the Tower of Carven Dungeon in future streams coming up, which is setting Ashes of Creation up for a pretty awesome year, along with hopefully not only giving us the remaining class types, but also Alpha 2 as well. The first class we saw was the Fighter way back in the basic weapon attack showcase for Melee early last year. We saw a Pyre Elf Fighter take down some rock creatures in the world showcasing us a bit of his abilities, which was technically of the Weapon Master class kit, which is a fighter-fighter combo. And this was our first big look at the combat revamp post-Alpha 1 for Ashes. This showcase, though, was more of looking at the combat itself and less at the class, so we really didn't get an in-depth detail on the fighter's ability kit he was rocking, but it still got us pretty hyped for the combat as it looked way better than it did in Alpha 1. From there, we got the basic ranged weapon showcase, giving us the Empyrean Elf taking on some minutes. Tars. This was a much more in-depth look at the class that we got compared to the fighter and was a lot more fun to see in my opinion as the ranger used a variety of abilities to move himself around the battlefield along with taking focus to deal massive amounts of damage. Then this past November we got the cleric which overall we didn't really get a lot of in-depth detail on. In this video it wasn't a very well put together stream in my opinion. We did learn of some of the abilities the cleric has but the showcase seemed to be more focused on the world itself than the first preview of the Alpha 2 healer, but it still showed us that there is in fact a functioning healing class in the game. Then two weeks ago we got the tank, showing us a bit of threat generation, taunts along with a party of four progressing through a zone in the Riverlands, taking on lots of lost souls. This tank showcase, although was a mess at first, gave us a fairly decent look at the tank functioning, although it still has a bit of room for improvement. So now as we head towards Alpha 2, we have seen four out of the eight class archetypes. We have yet to see a full bard, summoner, mage, or an actual rogue reveal for Alpha 2, and I imagine they are coming sooner than later. If Steven was truly playing around with the rogue nearly a year ago, I imagine that this class is probably pretty close to being ready to be showcased in an upcoming livestream. The mage was an Alpha 1, and I feel like this is more of an entry level class that's a bit more simple than some of the other ones, like the barter summoner, so I bet that this will be ready to go pretty soon as well, although we haven't even heard a tease of the mage at all, but I imagine it's gotta be pretty close, unless Intrepid is really trying to change up how the ranged casters are played. There is also the chance that Intrepid is not going to show us all eight of the archetypes before Alpha 2 launches and give us a bit of room for surprise as well, but the mage is the one I'm looking forward to the most. It's what I played the most of in Alpha 1, and I really want to see the changes that they implemented with this class. Then there is the bard and the summoner, both of which I imagine are a bit more complicated to design as the bard itself is meant to be support, giving buffs to the party in raid, but you don't want that to be boring, so in Intrepid really needs to find a way to make the bard fun to play and on par with the other classes that you might come up against on the battlefield. And the summoner, which is a much more in-depth class, having summons and various creatures that you can control and need to manage, this will probably take a bit more of work as well, but these are both confirmed to be shown to us at some point this year, which makes sense, especially if Intrepid wants to drop Alpha 2 on us at some point this year as well, which I really hope they do, but nothing is confirmed. The summoner and the bard are by far those two classes that I am extremely hyped to see as we know very little about them. We have seen no Alpha 1 footage of them, no Alpha 0 footage of them. We have no idea how they're going to play yet other than a few hints that Steven has given us in the past years. So what exactly does this mean going forward? Well, like I said before, we know we have some group dungeon gameplay coming up and although these class kits are far from the final state, they are playable and now we can see Steven take on a bit more variety of content when it comes to group gameplay. I mean, Ashes of Creation is meant to be played with friends, so it's about time we get to see more of that type of gameplay instead of Steven running around solo. It is time that Intrepid learns from their past mistakes of showcasing. You have the Trinity, you have two DPS classes, the Cleric, the Tank, hopefully a few more coming up soon that they haven't showed us yet. So going forward, I really hope that Intrepid shows us group gameplay in the way it's meant to be intended. And by that, I mean in eight-man parties, 
or raid groups. When Intrepid decides to head out into the Tower of Carfin and show us our first Alpha 2 dungeon, I don't want to see only 4 players going into this dungeon to take on what is meant for 8 players. I want to see a full 8 man party working together to show us that true experience in how Ashes of Creation is meant to be played, with healers holding the group together, tanks holding the aggro, and no GM cheats whatsoever. If you wipe, you wipe, you die, you come back to life, and you try it again. This dungeon gameplay would be a great time to showcase us a bit more of the other classes too. If you're going to have a party of 8, why not use all 8 classes? Obviously, we will only be seeing one point of view in this, but it doesn't mean that we can't get teases and speculate on how the other classes we haven't seen are playing in the background, if they are ready to showcase that is. It's time for group content in Ashes of Creation to truly come together as we get closer to Alpha 2, and I can't wait to see what this brings. What is your favorite class archetype that you have seen so far? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.